Hey, um, I decided to make another video pretty quickly because I just kind of been having some thoughts, and I decided to make a make one about I had done some D and D builds in the past, and I haven't done one in a recent time, so I decided to do one because I haven't, like I said, I haven't done one for a while. Um, we've been play testing with some friends the D and D next, uh, like I said, play test. Um, it's not currently out yet, but we got to hold on to some PDFs and. Started making characters and just kind of threw together and had just having some fun with it. It was very um, out of whack. What but what I mean by that is we're just having fun with it. We are just screwing around every session or two. We actually level up to see what you know what happens. We're currently level four. I have a dragonborn cleric. I had a dwarf paladin, but he died for, uh, a few sessions back. So I made a dragonborn cleric to be able to heal the group. Um, we currently have a Barbarian, a Ranger, a Fighter slash Blighter, um, a Mage, and a Monk. And sorry if I'm missing anyone, but those are the ones we have currently. And we're, like I said, level 4. We are different, um, have different uh, experience as players. I probably have the least, honestly. I've only been playing in a few years. And so, we've been, we've been playing that, having fun with it. Um, I've enjoyed it a lot. It's my first time actually being a healer um, in D&D, so I've enjoyed the experience that way. My build is basically, you know, he's a, he's a red dragon born, so he has a fire breath weapon, which in this one does a d6 I can do once every short rest. Um, and then I have, of course, cleric spells. Cleric spells, the only thing I've been using, like I said, I'm a healer, so we have cure wounds. And the Restore Health. The Restore Health is a cantrip I can use three times a day, which is three times your level. Or, I'm sorry, five times your level. So currently I can heal with 20 on that. And then the um, Cure Wounds at level one can do two D8s plus four. It would be usually plus two, but being a, the Cleric, add the bonus of a, another plus two. So I have a plus four. And then if I use a level two spell, it adds two D8s to that. And then every level spell... Adds two D8s. That's how it works in D&D. &D, at least the D&D &D Next playtest. It may change when it comes out. Because it is a level overpowered. Because once I get level 3 spells. Which is next level. I can do 68 plus 4. Um, healing spells. And it's just a touch spell. So I think we'll touch them. And they, they, get, they get healed. Um, with this guy. We wanted to make him a little bit different. Like I said. It's a lot of different campaign. So we made him actually chaotic good. Which isn't really... Um, fit a cleric, but it was hilarious at the time. We, I pretty much has to, I have to cause damage to be able to heal. Um, so basically just completely opposite of what a cleric should be, other than I'm still nice enough to heal my, my party members. Um, so that's been a lot of fun. Um, as of the, the campaign, I'm not going to really, um, say too much about it because it's, it's, like I said, just for, excuse me, just for fun. It's not anything serious. We're just playtesting and having fun with it. So, if you guys want to know anything else, want to know more about some DD characters I've made or built, please let me know. Or even if you have any ideas for me, that'd be great. Like I said, I haven't been playing very long, and I'd love to have any ideas for future campaign uh, characters. So, please do that. Comment on here or talk to me on, on Facebook. That'd be great. Go look up at my Honest Geek Opinion on Facebook. That's where you can best get a hold of me. Alright, talk to you guys later, and bye.